We're going to talk about what's going on in Missouri and a few other things in the Constitution. Uh, they've got a good thing going out there. Now, I want you guys to know something about the Constitution. Now, they keep passing these unconstitutional firearm laws. And they are unconstitutional because they are outside the scope of authority that was granted to Congress. Now, down here, I got the best evidence rule. The best evidence rule is a rule of evidence that requires an original document, photograph, or other piece of evidence to be introduced to the court to, pr to prove the contents of the same item. Okay? Yeah, a rule of evidence that holds an original document, photograph, recording, or other piece of evidence is required to prove whatever. Now, if you go, if you look up uh, Commerce Clause, right here, they, they have been passing firearm laws under the guise of the Commerce Clause. And I want you to look here. Now, this is... Webster's Dictionary, 1828. Commerce. In a general sense, an interchange of mutual change of goods, wear, productions, or property of any kind between nations or individuals, either by barter or by purchase and sale, trade, trick. Okay. The, okay. Intercourse between individuals. Familiar intercourse between interchange. Uh, okay. Commerce is means to traffic, to carry, or trade. That's what that means. Now, if you look at the original intent of the Constitution, you've got to look back to the Federalist Papers. This is Federalist number 22. This is Federalist Paper number 42. And in it, you know, this, these are the original documents, people. These are original. These authorities right here, people, right in front of your face, proves that the purpose of the Interstate Commerce Clause are to prohibit the state from imposing tolls and tariffs on articles of import and export, goods and commodities, merchandise, as they are transported through the states for the purpose of buying and selling and to permit the government, federal government to impose duties on imports or exports both inland and abroad. Now, Federalist Number 2 says the interfering regulations that some states have given just cause complaints to others, if not restrained by a national control, it would be multiplied because they became a uh, very uh, animosity uh, prevailed because uh, they were they were uh, stopping the, the intercourse between different parts of the, the Confederacy. Um, number 42, a very, says uh, it's uh, a, a very material object of this power to regulate commerce was the relief of states which impact and import and export through the states from the improper contributions levered on them by the latter. Were these at liberty to regulate the trade between the state and states, ways would be found to load the articles of import and export during the passage through their jurisdiction with duties which would fall on the makers of the latter and the consumers of the former. All it is is to regulate commerce between the states. They have been sticking the Commerce Clause, been using this uh, as a scapegoat for passing unconstitutional gun laws. It's always been, like I said, Congress only has limited powers. They are constitutionally barred, constitutionally barred from infringing upon your rights. Get that in your head. I'll say it again. The Constitution is very limited what power and authority that they give to Congress. But they tried to sneak this through the firearm laws under the guise of the Commerce Clause. They do not have that power. Like I said, you've got to have the, the Supreme Court 
needs to look at all the Federalist Papers. I mean, they put these guys in power. They don't even know the Constitution. They just put them in there. They're mostly for political reasons. They are. They don't have any schooling on the, on the Constitution. You've got to have the original intent of the, of, of the language. And the original intent of, of uh, uh, the Commerce Clause was to re uh, so that the states wouldn't be fighting over each one, taxing uh, burdens and then send it to another state and tax it there. They stopped that. That's the original intent of the Commerce Clause. Now, I want you guys to go to this channel here. Well, I want to put him down here. Let me unzoom this. This is what's going on in Missouri. They, they're trying to pass that uh, Senate Bill 367. Now this, uh, I'll put a link down here to this uh, uh, guy's channel. He's got uh, the Senator Eric Burleson, and he's the one trying to get that uh, thing through uh, the Senate. Okay. Uh, now, this was placed on uh, Legally Armed America. That's the name of the channel. And uh, he talked to Missouri Senator Paul Bur Burleson on uh, Senate Bill 367. And uh, that, he, that he authorized the nullification of the federal government's attempt of anti-gun laws and enforcement of those laws within the state of Missouri. And if Missouri can do it, people, you can do it too. I put the link up before, I put a video up before on, on the, the, the anti-commandeering doctrine from 1842 onward that Missouri is using. It's up on my, on my site. You can go look at it. You can put this in, and get this thing in your state as well. But like I said, if they took the original intent, papers, and placed it in front of a doggone Supreme Court, and they had to read it, then they would understand that Congress does not have the power or authority to pass any kind of federal gun control law in the United States of America. They are constitutionally barred. Read your Constitution. Congress only has limited powers. And now... And their firearm laws are, are uh, beyond the scope of their authority. Thanks for watching. I will put this up there. I'll put a link. Check, you check this guy's channel out. You watch, watch this uh, video. Now, this is like 10 minutes and 36 seconds long. Uh, we need this kind of people everywhere in, in, in our state capitals and then especially in our... Uh, uh, Congress and our, our Senate. You got to have people with moral background, and you you look at those people. You look at Harris. You think she's a moral person? <laughs> it's like saying Stormy Daniels, Daniels is one. Come on, people. How do these people get into office? All right, I'll put the link down below.